So, <laughs> trying 2.4 number 15 the other way. I have rewritten as y prime is y over x plus 1. And then I'm going to make the substitution v is y over x. So v prime then you get out of doing some kind of product rule or quotient rule nonsense. Y prime over x. So you're like, all right, so v is y times x to the minus 1, right? So you get derivative of the first thing, y prime times x to the minus 1 minus x to the minus 2 times y. Oh, I feel like... Leibniz notation would be so much nicer here, but okay. Oh yeah, God. probably. Could be D -Y. Okay, so you got V prime is Y prime over X minus Y over X squared. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Then you need to make this substitution back here to get rid of Y prime, right? But Y prime is kind of convoluted here, right? It's got Y's in it. You solve for y prime? So you got to be a little bit careful. Oh, because what you know here, this statement tells you that y is v times x. So with me? This statement here tells you that. Oh, I'm going to have to do multiple steps here. It tells you that y prime over x right, is v prime plus y over x squared. Multiply both sides through by an x. Get y prime is v prime x plus y over x. But y was v times x. So this is the same thing as v prime x plus v. Cool. And there might or might not be a shortcut. But that means that my original equation here, after I rebase in v's, turns into y prime well, and those v's are the same thing as I used the last time, right? So now you're at the same spot that we Yeah, it should be at basically the same spot I was before. Because, really, there's only one way to solve this. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Equals v plus 1. So I got v prime, or vx plus v. That was my y prime. And that's supposed to equal y over x is v plus 1. Hey, look, it's like and then something cancels because, of course, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and I get v prime is 1 over x again. Which reminds me of something else we've done. So then I got v is natural log of the absolute value of x plus a constant. And then you're like, but wait. Well, y over x back in for v? Yeah, so then I plug back in here. And that's where the thing in the book comes from. I was an idiot before for not saying it. From... The formula in the book comes from noticing this. Okay. Right, you're going to get the same thing you get out of variation of parameters, but it's going to be times times x. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you get y then is oh don't know why I'm writing this down again. So why is that again? Because <laughs> of course it is.